Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining in tonight's healing service. Much emphasis will be placed on people who have conditions in this region of their bodies. If you're having a belly pain, if you're having some kind of issue in the belly, if you have kidney issues, liver issues, I'd like to pray for you this evening. Hallelujah. The Lord has been doing wonderful things in the lives of individuals, even those who happen to watch the rebroadcasts. Tell to people there is a continuity of the flow of the anointing, even through the broadcasts that have already been streamed. All we got to do is just believe. Hallelujah. Up to today, I had someone testify. The person reached out saying that they asked, hallelujah, that I pray for them because they've been experiencing some lung issues. And what I did was I sent the person the healing service in which we focused on the lung and something else. I think heart and lung. And that person just followed the simple instruction that was given to watch with her faith. She went ahead and did so. And she replied saying, I brought up mucus. I know I am healed in my lungs. And so if we can believe, tell to people, if thou canst believe, all things are possible. All things are possible to those who believe. And so if you are a woman suffering from some belly condition, your belly constantly hurt, there's some abnormal activities happening in the belly, if it looks unusual, if there are some stuff going on there that you know should not be happening, I'd like to pray for you this evening. And if you are someone who is on dialysis, I'd like to pray for you as well. Hallelujah. Tell two people there is healing in the room. There is healing for those conditions. There is healing for those diseases. Kidney disease, liver disease, hallelujah, belly issues. Is something wrong with your colon? Are you scheduled to do a colonoscopy? I'd like to pray for you. Is something wrong with your intestines, small and large or either of the two? Regardless of the situation this evening, there is healing available through the master. Hallelujah. And I want us to join with our faith. Tell two people doubt is not allowed in this room. If you're a doubter, do not expect to receive anything from the Lord. The Apostle James said it to us this way. He says, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. He says, he who wavers in his thoughts, he who doubts, it's like he's like a wave being tossed about with the wind. Such individuals shall not expect to receive anything from the Lord. So tonight, we don't want those who are being tossed by winds. And we, we, when we talk about winds, we're talking about doctrines. We're talking about belief systems. We're talking about things that have been heard or processed by the mind and by the heart. We don't want anyone who has caused doubt to infiltrate his heart and mind to be in this room. We want people who are believers, people who know the promises of Jehovah toward them concerning healing. Jehovah wants to heal you. Jehovah wants to deliver you. Jehovah wants to deal with the pain in the belly. Jehovah wants to deal with inflammations. Jehovah wants to deal with people who are spending monies to do dialysis. Jehovah is saying unto someone, it is my will for you to be healed. It is my desire for you to be healed. Are the people who are watching on YouTube hearing me clearly? Could you just quickly confirm for me? Did I do something wrong on YouTube? I'm not seeing any comments, so I cannot tell if they're hearing. Hallelujah. Can someone just quickly go over to YouTube 
and tell me if people are hearing me. Should I restart? Because I'm not seeing anything. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Can you all see me? I don't know if they are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like one of you to quickly go over to my YouTube channel. Just look for Shadeen Anglin on YouTube. Click on my channel and then go to the tab that says live under which are all my live videos, including this one. And I want you to come back to me and tell me if everything is all right over there. It looks like I might have clicked on something. And as a result, I'm not seeing the comments, so I cannot tell if they're hearing me. Hallelujah. Now, as you join, you know exactly what to do, and that is to hit that share button. If you're watching on my TikTok page, go ahead and hit that share button. If you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and share and also like. And if you're watching on Facebook, you too are asked to hit that share button at the bottom right of the screen. Hallelujah. Glory to the living God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, the word of the Lord, according to the Apostle James, in his epistle, James chapter 5, it reads thus, Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the same or in the name of the Lord. Again, is any among you sick? Is any among us sick tonight? Is any among us sick? Any means it can be anyone. You can be a believer. You might not be a believer. And what I mean is you might be born again as well as you might not be born again. But I really do hope that if you're not yet born again and the Lord heals you tonight, that you give your heart to him. Because he does not just want to set you free so that you can go back to living your life as usual. But God wants to set you free so that you can be a change agent for him a trailblazer for him and so that you might testify to others of his good works in your life and by you doing so their lives will be impacted hallelujah glory to god and so i just want to just make some reference to something that i saw earlier as i was in my time of prayer you know, I heard the phone vibrate and I went and I checked the phone and for some reason I found myself just going through some WhatsApp messages. And during that time, I saw where someone shared a message with me, a YouTube link. And the question followed, do you know this person? Oh my God. Oh my God, I forgot something. Wait, I just checked the WhatsApp and I just saw another message and I'm just remembering that I had promised to do something. Hold on, give me one second. I gotta do this live. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, let me finish saying what I was saying and then I'll call this person and I have to call the person live, okay? So, someone sent me a YouTube link and as I said, they asked, do you know this person? So quickly, I looked at the face and I was like, I don't know this person. I said, do you? So the person said, um, this person just shared a powerful testimony and she mentioned your name so you should listen. So I said, yeah, I'm going to listen and let me tell you something. So I clicked on the link. Of course, it took me to the YouTube channel. And so I just want to use this opportunity to greet Miss Sheena, Sheena Lynn, who has Sheena Power Talk okay on youtube now she was interviewing a young lady by the name of trishana connelly and truth be told i know her name 
I've talked to Trishana before. It's just that I've never put a face to the name before. But I just want you to know Lady Trishana, who's probably watching me right now, someone shared the interview you did with Sheena Power Talk. Okay, I listened to that and listen, if you have the chance, whenever you get it, please go and watch her interview. Let me see if I can get the title. The title is Former Dancehall Artist Mini Battles Deadly Witchcraft. Now, in her testimony, she mentioned that she got saved through this ministry. Put your hands together. Now, she, listen to me, she's a trailblazer. She's talking about what God has done for her. Okay, and you too can be saved. So when God touches you tonight and heals you, listen, he wants you to go and do what she is doing, what Trishana is doing. She's telling people of the greatness of God. She is a living testimony of his power, goodness, and love in her life. And I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. And so I salute you, Lady Trishana. And we also want to thank uh, Miss Sheena for a allowing people like Trishana to share such powerful testimonies that are creating impact and waves, hallelujah, in people's lives. Hallelujah, we're just thanking God for you. Thank you for the transparency that you allow to flow through those interviews, Miss Sheena. God bless you. Hallelujah, God bless you. God bless you. More grace to you as you continue to flow. Hallelujah, in this gift that the Lord has given to you and this ministry to which he has called you. Sheena, we thank you. We bless you. Hallelujah, glory to the living God. So as you join, please make sure you're hitting that share button. Hallelujah, whether you're watching on Facebook, Facebook, YouTube, or hallelujah, uh, TikTok, my God. Now the TikTok username is Shadeen Anglin 353. Hallelujah. The name on Facebook is Shadeen Anglin Ministry Page. Many people are still trying to figure out if I have multiple pages. No, I do not. I just have one legitimate page on Facebook and it's titled Shadeen Anglin Ministry Page. Any other page that has been sending you messages or WhatsApp, hallelujah, they're not from me, okay? So please make sure you are consulting with us. Is this Trishana? Hi. Hello. Nice to see you. I heard your story today, okay? I listened to it and it was really impactful, riveting, you name it. I'm so happy. Nice to see you, girl. Hallelujah, glory to God. Now, let me do this real quickly, listen to me. I gotta make this call. I totally forgot that I wanted to do something by the Spirit of God today. So if you don't mind, I gotta call this person hallelujah let me call this person i did ask her to remind me hi hello sis how are you can you hear me are you still at the location okay you cannot leave <laughs> because i'm just not remembering that we wanted to do that thing so are you in a position to to do what we said we were going to do still. Okay, great. So I'm going to ask you to put that phone on speaker for me. Hallelujah. And I really hope that your other co-workers will not be bothered. We restrain every power of the enemy. So let me just share with my viewers what we're going to be doing right now. Woo! Now... It came into my heart some days ago that I should pray for the people who are on a specific ward at a specific hospital. Now you might have seen me put out a post on my page and on that post I was asking that someone who works at a certain hospital, the Falmouth Hospital, I asked that that person reach out to me. And may I say this, within 10 minutes of posting that announcement, okay, I got a call, someone contacted me saying, I work at the Falmouth Hospital. When I spoke with her, 
she I, I said to her I'm trying to get in contact with someone who's working on the ward on which there are people with broken legs broken limbs and so on she says you're talking about the accident and emergency ward I work on that ward can you imagine she was the perfect person to have contacted so I did ask that you know we remain in contact and that at some point we would work together and try to do what God has so inspired me to do and she has also said that God has placed it in her heart of late to pray for some of these patients because of course a lot of things have been happening and there are a lot of things behind the person's admissions in hospitals we might think some of these admissions are normal but by the Spirit of God and through revelation or revelatory knowledge, He can make us know that there are some demonic powers behind some of these accidents and emergencies. And so right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my mouth as an oracle of Jehovah in this atmosphere. She's going to slowly walk along the aisle, the corridor, whatever you want, the passage in the hospital. Now, as she walks, okay, the persons or patients on that ward, they're going to hear my voice. They're going to hear me pray for them, okay? And the reason the Lord put it in my heart to do this hospital is because for some reason, I happened to got, have gotten rather two requests for prayers for men who were badly injured, okay? have had issues with their knees, broken limbs, and so on because of an accident. And the two people, they don't know each other. They happen to be in the same hospital and they're on the same ward. So I was like, God, you're saying something. Don't you believe he's saying something? So I said, you know what? Before I get another request to pray for someone who's admitted on that ward, I'm going to make life easier for all of them on the ward by the power of Jesus Christ. Instead of just praying for one or two people, just because they have the privilege of reaching out, we're going to pray for all of them. Anybody agrees? If you do agree, let me see something on the screen. If you agree, if you agree with us just releasing all of them, as long as they believe, I can tell you this, they will be healed. And so Sister Shauna, can you hear me? Okay, good. So, we've never done this before. You are experiencing something that we are doing for the first time. It's an unprecedented move of the Holy Ghost. And count it a blessing to be a part of it. Amen. So, Shauna, you are going to have me on the speakerphone. And you're going to take your time and walk. Now, as you walk, you're allowing these patients to hear the word of the Lord and the prayers. Now, as these patients believe, as they believe, as they believe, the spirit of the Lord is going to be moving upon them. And he's going to be releasing them from whatever, hallelujah, their conditions are. If they believe some of them who are scheduled for surgery will not have to do any surgery. In fact, as a nurse, you could tell me, do you guys normally do a test immediately before surgeries are done? Yes, they do. They do. Hallelujah. I'm ready. Just lift up your hands, people of God. As you join, I'm going to ask that you hit that share button if you have not yet done so. Of course, for the benefit of those individuals, hallelujah, who will be joining. Glory to the living God. Now, let's go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible says... For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. As you are under the sound of my voice tonight, I want you to know that you are included in that category of those referred to as whosoever. I want you to know that the ministry of Jesus Christ 
is a ministry that appeals to and ministers to those who are lost. It's a ministry that comes to bring salvation and healing. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that Jesus Christ has healed many. But when we look at the word healing, hallelujah, in the Greek, sozo, it's speaking of not just salvation as we know it, but it means to heal. And so Jesus wants to give you that double dose, hallelujah, of his power. He wants to give you his power manifesting in the form of salvation and in the form of healing. Young man, I call upon you because you are strong. And irrespective of what you have done in life, irrespective of the mistakes you have made to warrant whatever has happened to you, Christ has come to release you not only of the effect the damages have caused in your life physically, but he also wants to deal with the guilt that comes with your actions. He wants to deal with the shame that comes with your actions. He wants to deal with the weight that comes with your actions. Christ loves you enough, hallelujah, to have sent angels to walk along the aisles of this hospital and especially the ward on which you are. If you can believe the Bible says according to Mark chapter 9 verse 23, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to those who believe. And I'm here to tell you that you don't have to have been born again in order to believe. You don't have to have been a church goer in order to believe tonight and in order to be healed tonight. Christ loves you enough to give you a second chance. He loves you enough to repair the damages that were caused by the enemy. Christ loves you enough to intercept the, hallelujah, the strategies of the enemy. He loves you enough, hallelujah, to have come this night to heal you supernaturally. I'm going to ask that those of you who believe me as you are under the sound of my voice on your hospital beds right now, I'm going to ask that you just raise those hands. Do not be ashamed. Do not be ashamed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do not be ashamed. Just raise your hands. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Hallelujah. He came to set the captives free. And when some of you go out of this hospital tonight, you shall be his witnesses. You shall be evangelists. Hallelujah. Many of you shall leave a changed individual. The person they knew before you entered the hospital, they will know that person no more. They'll see that person no more. Tonight is your night. Just raise your hands as you're on that bed. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right now, I should in Anglin, I stand on holy ground right where I'm at. I thank you, Lord. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. The Lord is letting me know that there is an angelic visitation that is occurring right now on that ward. There are angels going around visiting beds right now. I hear the sound in my spirit and I know what the Lord is saying. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I stand right here in my home and I send your power right now at the Falmouth Hospital on the ward on which your daughter is right now. There is no distance in prayer. You are not limited by time. You are not limited by geographical space or location. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we command that there be an open heaven over that ward right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let there be an opening that is created, Lord, even as we saw an opening created in heaven, oh God, when Jacob, oh God, was on his way to seeing his uncle. 
Lord, you saw and you showed us in your word, Father, that this man saw a ladder extended out of heaven on which he saw the angels ascending and descending. We ask right now that there be a ladder extended upon that ward right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the angels begin to ascend and descend. Lord, let them descend with messages for some men. Let them descend with some answers. Let them descend with clarity. Let them descend with some blessings blessings that were withheld in the heavens. Let them descend with some breakthroughs. Let them descend with some oils of healing. Let them descend right now on that corridor. Let the angels of the Lord become busy right now. Let them take on the posture of nurses. Let them take on the posture of doctors right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so Lord, by your power, I bind every spirit of infirmity attacking those who are on this ward. My sister, can you just clarify for me who are on this ward? Is it males only, females? Just males. Just males. Are their hands lift, lifted? Is there anybody whose hand is lifted? Are they hearing me? Okay, great. Okay, great. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as their hands are lifted, Lord, and their hearts, because some are so weak, they can't even lift their hands. But, Lord, I ask that right now, you will begin to break the chains that are upon them in the spirit. I break chains that are on that ward right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I access a divine hammer right now, even through your word, Father, for thou art the Lord that healeth. Lord, you have sent forth your word to heal your people. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we use this hammer and we knock and smash those chains into pieces tonight. Let everything the enemy has used, Lord, to put your people into a state of bondage. Let them be broken into pieces, Lord God, smashed into pieces, Lord, so that they cannot be remended, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right now as I speak, I command broken bones to be healed. Broken bones under the sound of my voice in the Falmouth Hospital right now, on the ward on which this woman is. Be healed. Be healed. Be mended right now. I release the power of God into hands that are broken. I release the power of God into hands that have pins. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I ask that your power will be the substitute to pins in the name of Jesus. We command, Lord God, divine healing. Let it be as it was even when you formed Adam. Father, if it is possible, I ask that you put many who believe in a deep sleep right now. Let a deep sleep fall upon many right now. Let the surgery that they're scheduled to do in the natural be done in the spirit instead, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command right now, Shoulders that are broken to be healed. I command in the name of Jesus. Waists that are broken to be healed. Hips that are broken to be healed. I command pelvis that are broken to be healed. In the name of Jesus. Thighs that are broken to be healed. Knees that are broken to be healed. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Feet and toes that are broken to be healed. Lord, let every part of the body that was injured in an accident. Oh, glory to your name, God. Receive of divine healing in this hour. In the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we release the anointing for creative miracle. Let the man who believes experience a creative miracle. 
in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let healing rivers begin to flow right now. Let the power of Jesus begin to move bed to bed right now. Foot to foot right now. Hand to hand right now. In the name of Jesus, we suspend right now the activities of demonic nurses that were employed on this ward. I command that you pack your bags and leave right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We terminate every contract signed by demonic nurses that were assigned. In the name of Jesus Christ, we stop the issuance or application of demonic medicines right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let there be light on that ward. Let there be light to every man's bed right now. Let there be light. So much light, Lord. Let your spirit begin to radiate on that ward. Let your spirit begin to shine, Lord, as the sun on that ward. Let there be light right now. Let burdens be lifted now. Let spirits of stress begin to flee from that atmosphere. Spirit of depression begin to flee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Spirit of bondage begin to flee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Spirit of torment, spirit of pain, spirit of fatigue, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, begin to take your flight right now, begin to depart right now, begin to be scattered right now, in the name of Jesus. Let there be healing right now. Let there be healing, Lord. Let there be healing. Stitch that which needs to be stitched. Sew that which needs to be sewed, Lord. Repair that which needs to be repaired. Restore that which needs to be restored. In the name of Jesus, let there be strength in the hand and feet of those who are weak. Let strength through Christ come upon them now. Hallelujah. Let purpose be recognized tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, I stand in and on your authority as an ambassador tonight. And I speak this word that I know you will endorse. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I, Shadeen Anglin, hallelujah, I sign right now in the spirit, hallelujah, 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 their release. I sign the document for their release right now. For those whose hearts are turning, I sign the document for your hospital release. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speedy release. Speedy recovery, daddy. Father, let it be done. Put your stamp of approval upon it in the spirit. Endorse this thing by your power. Endorse this thing by your word. As I speak as an oracle father. Endorse these words and bring them to pass. That as for those who are believing you. That they shall be discharged sooner than expected in the name of Jesus. And if you're under the sound of my voice and you want to say yes to Jesus Christ, it's just as simple as this. Just say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Wash me. Cleanse me. According to your word. You said in scripture, though my sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be as crimson, they shall be as wool. 
I receive of your forgiveness, Father. I receive of your love, Father. I receive of change in my life, Father. I receive of Jesus Christ of Nazareth into my heart. He is the Son of the living God. And through him and in him shall I have life and life eternal. I am saved by grace, not by my good works, but by grace through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Shauna, are you there? Radoro kosande da la la ba kashandiata. Rako sibai. Did anybody receive Jesus? They're all listening. They're all listening. I don't know if I'm allowed to even ask these questions because I know that this is a very delicate situation. Hallelujah. But did anybody receive Jesus? I know you're hearing my voice. Could you just raise your hand so that nurse can see you? Just raise your hand right now. Hallelujah. Are you seeing any hands? No, I'm not seeing it at the moment. You're not seeing? Are they listening? Are they hearing? Yes, I'm seeing one. Oh, you're seeing a hand. Praise God. Praise God. May I just minister to that person? If you could just go closer to that person's bed. I just want to speak some words into that person's life. As the Lord gives me the utterance this evening. there's another person who wants Jesus hallelujah are they close to each other will they both be able to hear me hallelujah you know what go to the one whose hand was lifted first could you just go to his bed first I want to speak to him I want you to understand what the Lord has placed upon my life it is of such that I speak it and he brings it to pass when I speak it he endorses it he has given me that permission not man not man and so young man as you are hearing my voice I'm gonna speak some things into your life hallelujah 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 Sir, in the name of Jesus, whoa, he answered. He said, yes, hallelujah. Say, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Now watch this. The Lord has met with you today. I bet you didn't know that he had an appointment with you today. And this is how he does it. See, so many times we're not able to come and out of his grace and mercy, instead of you coming to him, he comes to you and the Lord has come to you this evening. Now I'm here to tell you that you don't have to be what people say you are. I'm here to tell you, oh glory to your name, Father. The Lord is telling me something right now that you have had a Christian upbringing for the most part, your family. Isn't that so? Yes. Praise God. There is a strong Christian root in your family and I don't know why I hear backsliding. It seems to me that there was a point in your life when you were on the right path, but things happened. Hallelujah. But the Lord wants to bring you back on that path that will take you into your God-given purpose. Hallelujah, glory to the living God. Hallelujah. There are some things that needs to be disconnected from you in this hour so that you can live your life to its fullest in and through Christ. And if you would just give me the permission, sir, I will cut them off for you by the power of prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, sir, when the Lord releases you from this hospital, I disconnect you from some friendships that were no friendships at all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command that you be released 
from every group and membership that was toxic to your life and spirituality in the name and power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command in the name of Jesus Christ every power that causes stagnation in your life which by extension as I learned from prophetess Anne gives off a stench in the spirit I command that stagnation be no more in your life I exercise victory and dominion over every potential power of stagnation in your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth sir I speak to your mind and I say unto you. Let the mind of Christ be also in you, not just today, but tomorrow, and in the days and weeks to come, in the months and years to come, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I call forth divine alignment. I command your decisions coming out of the hospital to be aligned to the will and purpose of Jehovah for your life. I also speak to your feet and I say, Father, in this hour, if you would just cause an angel to do this work, or you may do it by your spirit, but I speak to your feet right now. I burn from your feet every satanic sandals on your feet. I loose right now every strap he has put upon your feet. Let them burn by fire in the name of Jesus. I loose your feet from every satanic accessory every satanic cord and every satanic chain that he has used to manipulate you're going out and you're coming in in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke every satanic influence over your directions over your decision making and over the way you are guided in this life the Bible says that in the midst of counsel godly counsel righteous counsel there is safety and I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that God will align you with godly counselors with men and women of God who will help to steer you in the right direction who will help to steer you on that path that will cause you to sprout in the spirit and in the natural sprout maritally sprout financially sprout physically sprout in every area of your life in which you have been experiencing nothing but dryness and deadness in the name of Jesus Christ I should in England a servant of Jehovah I speak and call forth a revival in your life a revival of your purpose a revival in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to dead things even job opportunities I speak a revival in the name of Jesus divine turnaround divine connection right now in Jesus name I pray that the spirit of Jezebel the spirit of Jezebel that spirit that spirit that loves to destroy a man now hear me out sirs and young men who are listening the bible says by means of a strange woman a man is brought to a piece of bread so for those of you women who are listening whose husbands have gone out to be with some strange women they're out there fooling around with some other woman well, I'm here to tell you something that I want you to say to him the next time you get a chance to speak with him. Let him know that by means of a strange woman, okay, a man is brought down to a piece of bread. Let him know that her words are sweet as honey, but what he will get from her is going to be as bitter as wormwood. You better let him know this. You better let him know this. And so in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that there will be a blockage around you, sir, that intercepts the interference of every Jezebel spirit, of every Delilah spirit. Show me your strength. You shall show it to none except your wife in the name of Jesus. And as they come, hallelujah, 
And even if you are with someone at the moment, I pray that God will reveal motives to you and hearts to you. Whether this is for you, whether this thing is meant to make you or to break you because it's one of the two. I pray that coming out of this situation, sir, your eyes will be opened. I pray your heart toward God will be different. I pray you'll start seeking for truth, not through people, because many people have all kinds of nonsense to say. But I pray you will visit the Holy Bible for yourself. I pray you will fast and pray until God comes to you and until you have that divine encounter that will change you forever. The Lord loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Has shown mercy to you. And if you are faithful to him, sir, he will continue to do same. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. Where's the other person? Hallelujah. You there? Is the other person hearing me? Hallelujah. Can the person just say hallelujah? I just want to get a signal. Signal. <laughs> I, I didn't hear the hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the living God. Hallelujah. And so, sir, I break every power of poverty from over your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I also speak to cycles, cycles of setback over your life, sir. In the name of Jesus, I break them. I break them. I command divine depletion. Hallelujah. Divine interception into those cycles in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, sir. I command in the name of Jesus that as you arise out of this hospital, you will symbolically arise in life. Arise from where you have been to where you need to be. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I release upon you now the anointing to cause you to catch up in life. Begin to achieve those things you should have achieved. Begin to meet those people you should have met. Begin to establish those things you should have established. I command in the name of Jesus that you begin to catch up, step up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that when the prophet of God, Elijah, visited Ahab, after the Lord gave him the instruction saying, go to Ahab, present yourself unto him for I shall send rain. After Elijah entered into seven dimensions of prayer and the rain started to come, you would have heard him say, as a matter of fact, his servant said unto him, I see the cloud. It's like the size of a fist. That was after Elijah said, I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. He said unto Ahab, get your chariot, begin to go because rain is going to come. Mashiach, Ahab was on his chariot. You're talking about a man who was being carried with wheels and horses. And so he was going pretty fast. But my Bible tells me that the hand of the Lord fell so heavily upon Elijah that this man, although he was walking, overtook a man who was in a chariot and was having horses, horses carrying him. That doesn't happen. That's a supernatural speed, supernatural acceleration, supernatural movement that occurred on the part of Elijah. And so in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you, sir, to overtake, hallelujah, to overtake, to not just catch up, but overtake those things that have run ahead of you, that were supposed to be traveling with you, growing with you. In the name of Jesus, 
Let there be divine speed that comes upon this man. And I know you probably are thinking, but I'm not young like everybody else. I'm not a youth. I'm not 16. I'm not 14. I'm not 18. But it's not too late. God can do it. He has done it before. And he is gracious enough, forgiving enough, loving and merciful enough to do it for you, sir. So I pray that coming out of this hospital, you will catch up with life. You will catch up in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May your friends begin to call you blessed. May your friends begin to marvel at the opportunities that will be presented to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May your friends begin to come to you for you to lend to them and not the other way around in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As you go back to your home, Father, release upon him the priestly anointing. Hallelujah. So that he will be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, a lender and not a borrower. Begin to touch his heart, Lord. Remove every heart of stone that he possesses and give him, Lord, a heart of flesh. So that when he thinks, he will think like you. Let him begin to love the things that you love, Jehovah. And hate the things that you hate, Jehovah. Fresh wind into your life, sir. Fresh wind into your life, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want you to know, sir, that God is not forceful. So really, he does not force anyone to say yes to him. He's a gentleman and that is why he says, behold, I stand at the door and I knock. God is knocking at your door and he wants you to walk in the spirit of obedience because as you obey him, everything I have spoken over your life shall come to pass. They shall be realized in their right time and season, sir. In Jesus name, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And you know what? I want you to give them my numbers, my WhatsApp number, because I want to hear when they come out of the hospital. 876-319-5163. WhatsApp number is 876-319-5163. You already have the number, my sister. I want you to give the information to these men. Hallelujah. And please remind them that I'm looking forward to getting some updates. In Jesus' name. Can you hear me? My sister, I'd like to minister to you. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Would you like me to minister to you, sir, uh, miss? Yes. You sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you could just raise one of your hands. Hallelujah. Just raise one. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Just raise your hands for me. What she has done is unique. It's really different because, of course, you know, you don't just do certain things, right? And especially in these circumstances or under these circumstances the fact that you went ahead to be brave enough to do this for your Lord it tells me a lot and I want you to know that we are in the time when God is looking for people who are as bold as you people who have put on a garment of fearlessness they fear nothing they fear no evil for they know the promises of God. And one of the promises says, the Lord is with me. I shall fear no evil. For what? For thou art with me. And so, woman of the living God, I do pray. Hallelujah. My God, I'm seeing something. 
I'm seeing something. Hallelujah. There's something that the Lord has given to you, miss. This must be your ministry. This must be the capabilities he has given to you. But it's like they're just there, my sister. And let me compare it with something so that you can understand what I'm looking at in the spirit. I'm looking at an unblown balloon, a balloon that has no air. It's in your hand spiritually. And I hear the Lord saying to me that I should begin to blow that balloon. Why? Because he wants to expand you and expand the areas to which he has called you. He wants to expand your effectiveness in those areas and the ways in which you utilize what he has deposited within. And so I'm just going to prophetically just start the blowing for you. I'm a blow three times. In fact, I'm a blow seven times, which is the Lord's number for completion. Hallelujah. And I'm saying to my father, as I blow each time I blow, I am representing those areas of your life that are just there. They're just dormant. They've been there. But it's about time you come out of your comfort zone. It's about time you evolve. It's about time you sprout. It's about time you expand in those areas. And expand in boldness. Expand in the spirit of might. Expand in the spirit of excellence. And so I'm a blow prophetically, my sister. And as you walk in obedience to Elohim, my sister, you shall begin to see yourself doing things that you never saw yourself doing. The Bible calls it exploits. The word of God says, those who know their God shall do what? Exploits. My sister, forget about how, that's not your business. Forget about when and who, that's not your prerogative. The Spirit of God is wise enough to have those things sorted. He just wants the vessel to be willing and available. in that area he's been searching in that parish and there aren't many say it the Lord he's telling you to go my sister he says go just one word he says go hallelujah hallelujah God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Shekariata. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. How much time do I have left? It's 8.44. I totally forgot that I had this assignment and this would have taken up almost an hour of our time. Uh, nonetheless, let's do this quickly. Those of you who have the issues with your belly, your liver, your kidney, uh, Please step forward. I will pray for you right now, right now. As a matter of fact, if you want to quickly join on Zoom, I'll just give you the information. Just type it in the comments. Hallelujah. Just type this in the comments. The Zoom meeting ID is as follows. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Let me take a sip. I need to get some water. Are we ready? The Zoom ID is 889 4012 889-4012-0943. The passcode is as follows. 794-681-794-681. Let me repeat the information for you quickly. So that's 889-4012-0943 for the ID. The passcode is 794-681. Now we're going to get this out of the way quickly. I'm going to ask that the people who join the Zoom come with your faith. Come with your faith. If you're still doubting, Try not to join the Zoom. I want those people who believe to come on the Zoom. This is an atmosphere that is potent, that is ready, okay, for healing, for miracles. And we don't want to spoil this atmosphere with our unbelief or doubt. Amen. So I'm going to check with Zoom. Allow some people to enter. As you join, make sure if you're listening to me on a second device, you turn that device off. I'm going to ask that you keep your videos on because, of course, you know, in this time of healing, I want to see what's happening. Amen. Can we cooperate and do that? Yeah. So let me check with Zoom. In the meantime, just raise your hands right where you are. Right where you are, just raise those hands. Those of you who are on Zoom and you're hearing me, your microphone is already connected. Could you stand for me, please? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hallelujah. Greetings to you, Kareem, Ruby, Doref, Bibi, Tashika, Elda, Nadine, Simone, Kayon, Timika, Esther, Denise, Elijah. Uh, greetings to you, Ninette, Jacqueline, Nordia, Doref, Nerissa, Carol, Tamia. I'm going to ask. Praying for people with belly issues. Yes, we're praying for people with belly issues. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Now please just stand for me. Hallelujah. Just stand for me. The time has come for those of you who've been appointed to be healed, which I think all of us were appointed to be healed. Don't you all want to be healed tonight? Don't you all want to be healed? Do you believe the Lord wants to heal you tonight? Praise God. Praise God. Let's do this. Let's do this. Just raise those hands all over the room. In a few seconds, I'll start praying. I want you to use this time just to speak to the Lord, ask him to forgive you of your sins, to cleanse you of your unrighteousness. Right now, right now, ask him to cleanse you. Just say with me, everyone, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, forgive me of my sins. Wash me, Lord. Cleanse me of all my unrighteousness. I'm hearing myself. Hold on. Hallelujah. Please do not unmute because I'm hearing a feedback. Father, heal me of my infirmity according to your word. The scripture says you bore my infirmities and my pain. That means you took my sickness to Calvary. And if you've already brought my sickness to the cross, then I don't need to be carrying sickness in my body today. If you dealt with my pain, if you've dealt with my disease, then I should not be dealing with disease today because you've dealt with this already. With your stripes, Lord, I am healed. With your stripes, Lord Jesus, I am healed. With your stripes, Lord, I have overcome this problem in my body. With your stripes, Lord. I'm delivered. I am delivered. Now, I'm going to ask you all to unmute your microphones, but if you're listening to me on a second device, do not do it because I'm hearing a feedback. But most of you can unmute at this time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I did ask that we stand in case you weren't here when I did invite people to stand. Hallelujah. 
Now put your hand on the belly, seeing that we're dealing with this area. I know some of you are here because you have kidney conditions, colon conditions. I'm hearing a feedback from someone. Dr. Cassie, the feedback might be coming from you. Could you mute? Hallelujah. Let's do this. Put your hand on the belly. I'm ready to pray. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth now, I bind every spirit of infirmity that is attacking the organs of the body that are in this region. I bind every demonic power attacking the belly in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I hold right now by the tail and by the head every demonic snake. I crush your head right now in the name of Jesus. I crush the head of every demonic serpent right now. I crush your head right now in the name of Jesus. I tread upon every scorpion now in the name of Jesus Christ. I smash you into pieces. Your head be smashed. Your tail be diced up into pieces. Become fragmented now. In the name of Jesus, I dissect your tail. I got your belly right now. In the name of Jesus, I bind right now lesions. In the name of Jesus Christ, attacking your belly. Yeah, I hear someone burping already. I bind right now the spirit of sickness. The spirit of disease. This is too. I bind in the name of Jesus. The spirit of pain. Torment. Swelling of the belly. I bind the principality responsible right now. With hot chains and fetters of fire in the name of Jesus, I bind you right now. Hallelujah. I stall your activities right now. I arrest you right now. In the name of Jesus, let God arise right now. Be silenced right now. Be muted right now in the name of Jesus. I cast you out of their midst right now. Right now. Right now. As far away from them as the east is from the west. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a carrying away. Let there be an exile now. Let there be an exodus now. Shayako tupurako satata maturi eshoto. Zubru shata kutuma kusieta rekoto mushkata zalushkanda kusoto rekanda kusoto. Yeah. Let them be cast out in droves right now. In droves right now. In droves, Rebo Kosoto begin to depart by the hundreds. Lekataya ya Kosoto Boka begin to depart by the thousands. Latama Kusoto begin to go right now in the name of Jesus. Now I command every sickness now in your bodies to go now, right now. I hear somebody coughing. Who is that person throwing up already? Hallelujah. Yes. Sister Tashika, is that you throwing up? Can you unmute for me? Unmute your microphone. Those of you who are being delivered, could you unmute? Those who are being delivered right now. Sister Tashika, she's right here. I see you throwing up. What's going on? What's your condition? 
something in my belly, but I can go. Something in your belly. Okay. Okay. In the name of Jesus. Right where you are. Right where you are. Could you for a moment, for a moment, for a moment, Tashika, for a moment, just be still for a moment. Yes. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, you unclean spirit in her belly. Come out now. Right now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Loose her. That's it. Yes. 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 Praise God. Yes. That's it. Yes, Lord. Sister Simone is also throwing up. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command that you lose Simone right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, come out of her. Loose her now. In the name of Jesus. Um, this lady, this lady right here, Damaris. Damaris? Yeah, could you unmute your microphone, miss? There is a spirit of depression there. I want to I wanna address that demonic spirit right now. In the name of Jesus, you evil spirit of depression, anxiety, and fear, come out of her now. Loose her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, let her go now. That's it. In the name of Jesus Christ. You spirit of sadness and sorrow. We defeat you now by the blood of the cross in the name of Jesus. Come out of her life right now. And sickness that you have brought begin to go as well. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break every power of depression from over you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I break every power of demonic invasion. I break every power of darkness be lifted from over Damaris in the name of Jesus. Let there be light around this woman right now. I command healing. Damaris, the Lord wants you to totally surrender your heart. Damaris, total surrender. Damaris, total surrender. Total surrender means you do not have control anymore. Total surrender means you're putting everything now into his hands. And that's what he requires of you, Damaris. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My sister right here, I don't know your name, but you're throwing up in the... I don't even know how to describe, but... Uh, to this lady right here who's wearing the... Uh, it looks like a stripe. There are some stripes going across. You're throwing up. It looks like your hair has some plaits in there. Okay, she's not. She's busy. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Tashika. 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 Tashika, you got to repent some more. You got to tell God what you've done that you shouldn't have done. Repent some more. You got to repent some more. And as you repent, that thing that is inside, it will totally go. You got to repent some more. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, raise your hands again. Well, I'm sorry, put your hands there again, ladies. And gentlemen, I saw some men here by the fire of the living God and in no other name than in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every stronghold. I pull down strongholds and break now the chains of sickness, hallelujah, that are upon Elder, Denise, Doreth, Anne-Marie, Claudette, Sherry, Erica, Dana Lee, hallelujah, Shanique, these people here, I'm not seeing your names because there is none, but I'm seeing your faces right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This lady with the iPhone, it looks like you're wearing a multicolored top with a, a long sleeve blue underneath. Yes, you and your hand is lifted. Could you unmute your microphone? This lady right here. This lady, yes, and your hair is short. You're using an iPhone. Yes, you. You, this lady. And you're now having your hand like this. Could you unmute your microphone, please? Oh, 
Your microphone is still muted, my sister. Your hand is on your face. Could you unmute? Yes, I'm seeing you now. What is your name? Marva. Marva. Marva, could you stand for me, please? Thank you. Hallelujah. Marva, by the power of Jesus Christ, she's right here. By the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. The Bible says, if ye forgive, for confess rather your sins, he's faithful to forgive you and to cleanse you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Barbara. Let the word of God become flesh in your life right now. I command a cleansing now by the power of Jesus Christ. Right now, right now right now every sickness in your body i command to be exposed not just exposed but i command sicknesses in your body hallelujah to be extracted by the power of the holy spirit right now right now right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i command every deposit that was meant to kill you every deposit that was meant to destroy you every deposit that was meant to rob you of your health and of course your finances to come out now be uprooted in the name of jesus be uprooted in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah yes father hallelujah i command in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth claudette Anne-Marie, Carrie-Anne, Shanique, Effie, Sherry, Kayon, Kayon, in the name of Jesus, I lose you right now. I lose you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I release healing into your bodies right now. All of you who are on this particular slide, I'm not seeing all the names, so don't feel away if I don't mention your name. It's because you don't have a name right here on Zoom. But I release the power of Jehovah into your bodies right now. I speak healing in the name of Jesus. I command healing to spring forth in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to ask Kayla to stand. I'm going to ask those of you who are still sitting to stand. Remember, you got to reach out in your spirit. You got to reach out in your spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I got to look on the camera because I know that you guys are here still. Amen. So let's do this. Just raise your hands quickly, everyone. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Radorodo Soto Raba La Prosa Frondiriata Sigarada Shande de Baroko Soto Leporobo Shikanda Baba Sataya Radoro Koshekenda Babo Soto Yibaraba Sikandi Biota Shiro to Sata Jesus Jesus, come on, Jesus, call his name right there in your room, call his name, call his name, refuse to go into tomorrow with the belly problem, refuse to go back to the hospital, refuse to revisit the doctor for an evil report, refuse, 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 refuse. Begin to reach out and touch him in your spirit. Begin to reach out and touch him with your faith. The word of God says that when Jesus entered the synagogue, there was a man with a withered hand. The Lord Jesus said unto him, extend your arms. And I hear him saying to someone today, extend your faith. Extend it. Hallelujah. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Jesus. Jesus, yes. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. 
There is power in the name to break the chain of liver disease, kidney disease, colon disease. There is power in the name of Jesus to break the bonds of belly pain. There is power in the name of Jesus to loose up those things that are tied up and knotted up. There is power in the name of Jesus. So let there be healing right now. Let there be healing. Healing. Healing in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let there be healing. Just raise your hands, everyone. Let me see if I can mute. Because I want everyone to hear me. Just raise your hands, everyone. Just raise your hands. Just raise your hands. Just raise your hands, just raise them. Just raise them. Just raise them. Just raise them. Just imagine him before you. Just imagine him walking by you. Just imagine his love He's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. He himself is light. If I were to tell you that he's full of light, that would not accurately describe what I saw as I mentioned in my book when he appeared. He himself is light. And that's why we know there are no light bulbs in heaven because he himself is light. His light is brighter than the sun's. Just imagine that light entering your room right now. Imagine that beautiful smile coming through that light. Begin to hear a sound coming out of that light just like Saul heard when he was on his way to Damascus. Begin to hear him calling your name twice. Hallelujah. Hear the sound of mercy. Hear the sound of compassion. Hear the sound of forgiveness. Hear the sound of salvation. Hear the sound of healing. Hear the sound. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that winds that have caused torment in your people's bodies are leaving right now. They're leaving right now. For the atmosphere is holy. It's holy. It's holy. It's holy. It's holy. The kingdom of God is here. It's holy. The ground is holy. The air is holy. It's holy. It's holy. The atmosphere is holy. Yes, Lord. I speak to kidneys that are failing and liver. I release healing into those in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the power of God begin to extract toxins that have been built up in these organs. Let there be a supernatural extraction right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let there be a bowel movement. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I disconnect someone from a urine bag right now. 
I disconnect and command that this continuation, hallelujah, of someone's visit to that room in which they perform dialysis, I cut you loose right now in the name of Jesus. I disconnect someone from tablets that are used in aid of cleansing the kidneys, the liver, hallelujah, the pancreas in the name of Jesus, the bile duct in the name of Jesus. I release the power of God into those areas. I command divine healing in the name of Jesus. I command divine healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak to someone who's experiencing swelling because of what's happening in those organs and in the belly. And I command the excess fluid that has been gathered in your body right now to be passed out through your urine in the name of Jesus. I send someone to the bathroom right now. I send someone to the toilet right now in the name of Jesus. Excess fluid begin to hear the word of the almighty God. He has sent forth his word to heal every disease, including the one that you have brought into their lives. Begin to go right now. Begin to be passed out right now. Begin to be trained out right now. In the name of Jesus, we syringe you out. We vacuum you out. We pull you out and down in the name of Jesus. Who went to the bathroom? I am in the bathroom right now. Who is in the bathroom? What's your name? Lorna. Lorna is in the bathroom. What is happening? I'm not going to put the camera on you, but tell me what is happening. I'm vomiting and I'm urinating. You're vomiting and urinating. What was the issue that you had? I'm not certain, but I always have this stomach problem. Um, I can't digest anything properly. You said I have something that doesn't matter really well. I keep um, um, vomiting at times. Okay, so the Lord has healed you. She's on the toilet, people of God. Is there anybody else who was sent to the bathroom just now? Anybody else? Yes. Who? I am. Okay, let me hear the man who is speaking. What's your name? Just your first name? Yes, Elijah. Elijah, what was the condition that you had? Okay, pain in the kidney. Okay, pain in the kidney. And in the lower abdomen. Okay. Okay, I'm hearing myself. Who is the other person who said that they have a condition? I am That they are on the toilet. I'm sorry. It's me, Georgia. Georgia, are you still on the toilet? Because I don't want to zoom in on you if you're there. Yes, yes, I am. Okay, so what is the condition that you had? Okay, for how long have you been having this issue? Um, this has been going on for a few years. A few years. And the one Lord... person since I had the COVID. Okay, okay. So the Lord has come to heal you tonight. Is that so? Amen. 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 Anybody else was sent to the bathroom? Yes, I just went to the bathroom. Yes, what did you pass out? Did you vomit or something? No, I urinated. You urinated. What was your condition? Um, for the last three years, I have an infection in the bladder. And now the doctor said it's going to affect my kidney. The devil is a liar. Okay. So I, I disconnect you from the antibiotics. Because I believe the Lord Jesus was your ultimate antibiotic dose tonight. Anybody else believes that? Be healed completely in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anybody else went to the bathroom? Oh, somebody's in the bathroom. Okay, so quite a number of individuals have been sent to the bathroom to God be the glory to God be the glory yes 
having a kidney problem and uh, feeling a lower pain in the abdomen and um, having high blood pressure won't go down. So uh, I tap in earlier, you know, and then I start to vomit when the cigar to put on and our belly. So I had to rush to the washroom and just vomit in then the last thing I do is urinate. Look at this man, he's so, actually throwing up as Elijah speaks. Look at him, he's throwing up. I don't know if you can see him, but this per this person is throwing up right now. Okay, so so the Lord has healed you, Elijah. The Lord has healed Elijah. Put your hands together. All right, just raise those hands, everyone. Raise those hands. Woo! It, it really... I just want to say the Holy Spirit is amazing. In case you have not yet had an encounter with the Holy Ghost and a relationship, you're actually seeing the ministry of the Holy Ghost right now. Could you just help me to give him a round of applause? Please, please help me to celebrate him. His ministry is excellent, impeccable. We love him. Put your hands together. We love him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask those of you who are behind me, those of you who are on Zoom, I, I don't mean to be in front of you guys, but I want you to begin to just shout the name of Jesus, but, but don't just shout his name, but begin to call him, Those, especially those of you who have not seen any, any tangible manifestation of your healing. I want you to begin to cry out for him. Just cry out for Jesus. Can, can you begin to do that from the depths of your spirit? Not just with your mouth, but cry out for him. Jesus. 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 Come on. Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you that you are healing so many. So many. I know that um, I know I would have missed so many of the messages. May I see those of you who were delivered? I see someone on TikTok saying I'm belching and coughing, but I know I missed a myriad of messages. I know for sure. Uh, let me check my WhatsApp to see if anybody was giving me some updates. Uh, but those of you who were de delivered or are being delivered still, could you just indicate Someone says, when you were praying, I felt my belly bottom moving. Uh, who else is being delivered? How about you on YouTube? Okay, so let's see what's going on on WhatsApp. And remember, you can also send images of what you have brought up. Those of you who are on Zoom, you can send images of what you've thrown up to my WhatsApp. Number eight seven six three one nine five one six three. Okay, hold on one second. One second. Someone just sent me this. Someone is throwing up behind me, but I want to show you what someone just brought up. It's phlegm. Flem and saliva. I want to show you what someone else has brought up. The messages are coming in. Okay. This is what someone threw up. This is what someone threw up. This is what someone threw up. Wow, it looks like I'm seeing blood too. Let me zoom in. I want to show. Now, family, I'm seeing traces of blood. 
And there's an angel to my right. That must be my angel. Hallelujah. Let me just type and ask this person if they're actually seeing that there's blood. It looks like a clot. Okay, let me pause this. Let me mute this because I'm hearing myself. Hallelujah. Someone is passing gas. Okay, someone else is passing stuff out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Prince, for these updates. Hallelujah. Let me see those of you who want to give your heart to Jesus tonight. Just say with me, Father, I repent of my sins. Forgive me. Cleanse me. Wash me. I receive of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in my heart and in my life. I choose him as my master from now onwards. Holy Spirit, enter me. Cleanse me first and then enter in. I invite you in. Because I don't just want to be physically healed, but I want to be spiritually healed and well. And so, Lord, come into my heart. I pray. word says he that hath begun a good work shall complete it complete every good work you have begun tonight complete yes complete 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 every good work you have started tonight in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now tomorrow here's what I want to focus on tomorrow by God's grace grace this is what has come into my heart now but who knows if the Holy Ghost won't change it tomorrow but let me just say I think I want to pray for women who are struggling to get pregnant tomorrow those women who have fibroid issues I want to pray for you as well tomorrow um, so issues with conception men who are impotent I want to pray for you too and I think I'm also going to touch on men who are having um, prostate issues, prostate enlargement, prostate cancer. I want to make mention of you tomorrow. And as I say that, I'm reminded that in the category of people I wish to pray for tomorrow will be those women who are having menstrual cycle issues, whether you have abnormal cycles, maybe you have a period once in a while, or you're not having a period at all, and you're not physically pregnant. Those are the people for whom I want to pray tomorrow. So please to make sure you put this in your alarm that you have to tune in to Shadeen's healing service. As a matter of fact, the Holy Ghost's healing service on Shadeen's page. Uh, that's Shadeen Anglin 353 on TikTok and Shadeen Anglin ministry page if you're watching on Facebook. And of course, Shadeen Anglin on YouTube. The time we commence tomorrow is at 7.30 p.m. New York time, which is the same as Jamaica time. Uh, please to put this in your alarms, okay? Set your alarm. 
remember to visit the ministry's website at shadeenanglin.org if you want to do anything support the ministry ask any questions you may go there or you may whatsapp plus one eight seven six three one nine five one six three i really want some testimonies and as a matter of fact i'm reminded to ask you to do this if you've ever been healed by this ministry if you've ever been healed i want you to send me a whatsapp message and tell me send pictures to if you have of before and after if you've ever been healed by this ministry whether last week last month last year two years ago I need to get those testimonies please I need them now for a purpose please send those testimonies to me to whatsapp number 876-319-5163 okay I need those testimonies so make sure you are sharing this broadcast because I need them to hear this people need to hear this announcement I know many people They've gotten their healing and then forget about Shadi in long time. You know, there are many people who were healed and they've never even said not even thanks, much less. But I want the testimonies. Please, I beg, so look at Shadi. Shadi, I beg you for the testimony. Isn't that bad? Not even the testimony some people not give. They get them healing and them gone. Not even as much as the testimony they'll share, much less for tell me thanks. And me no want the thanks. The Holy Spirit, he deserves the thanks first. But I will say to you, at least share the testimony. Share the testimony. Plus one eight seven six three one nine five one six three. Let me know what you were suffering from, what we were praying about at the time, and what happened with you. If you got a result that shows how negative you are, people have been healed from diseases, STDs. There will be a night for that as well when we'll pray for people who have STDs. But make sure you are sharing the broadcast because I want those people who got what they wanted and are no more. I'm asking them for the testimonies. Please. Thank you so much. God bless you, everyone. See you tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. I love you, but there's one who loves you way more than I do. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, son of the living God. He's the one who was and is and is to come. He says, behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. Make sure you are all ready for your reward and make sure you grab your copy of my book, I've Seen Jesus. If you want to know what the Lord Jesus looks like, I describe him in detail in my book, I've Seen Jesus, available on all Amazon platforms, available in both Kindle and paperback forms. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of the evening. Thanks for those of you who continue to keep me in your prayers. It means a lot. Thanks for praying not just for me, but also for my family and my team members. I appreciate you. God bless you. Hallelujah.